everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name is Acacia. <sighs> okay. Still in a lot of pain. Um, I'm trying to get this filmed because I've got two massive piles of books for a book haul for November. I didn't expect to get this many, but it was my birthday and I had some extra money and I sold a lot of books and I got some books from publishers. So a lot happened. Um, and I was just able to get quite a bit. Um, so I'm gonna be honest, no makeup today. Um, it hurts to stay on long enough to put on makeup. Um, pajamas, I can't get pants on by myself right now because um, I can't bend. So it is what it is and it's not perfect, but we're gonna go with it. So before I begin, I wanna just say that I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday on here. I post on my blog every Wednesday and Friday. I haven't for the last week or so because I've been injured, um, but that will be getting right back on track. I will be doing Vlogmas this year, which will start on December 1st and go till December 24th, and then I will most likely take a week off in between that and the new year. I want to say thank you to my Patreons. You guys are wonderful. I love you so much. I have a new Patreon, Jessica. Thank you so much for your contribution. I am very much looking forward to you in joining us in our book club. I am tirelessly working to try and find a book or two that are options for us to read in January when the book club begins. And I want to say thank you to my subscribers. You guys are wonderful. A lot of you have been coming and going, but you know what? Those of you who have stayed have stayed loyal and all of you newbies, I'm super excited to have you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you love this video, click, click the subscribe button down below. I would love to see you guys join my family and to grow this channel as much as possible. Let's dive into the books. I'm gonna try that as an intro versus an outro and we'll see what happens. So the first book I picked up, I picked up Used. This is Pieces of Her by Karen Slaughter. I really enjoy Karen Slaughter and I was really looking forward to reading another one of hers. This one has been made into a Netflix series though, which bothers me because that means there is a sticker, um, but we're gonna go with it. Um, it's been blurred by Gillian Flynn and that's really all I need to know for a horror slash thriller. I'm really excited about this and I will dive into that soon. Then the three books that I received this month from Book of the Month, which my my pick for this month was Susanna Call Callahan, The Great Pretender. Um, this one talks about mental health and mental illness and what treatment was like in um, facilities before um, a lot of the more dangerous places were shut down. I did pick this up because I was super excited about it and I'm hoping to get to it before nonfiction November ends. Oh, it's a little damaged. I don't know why it's damaged. That kind of bothers me. I really don't want to put these on the floor because I can't get to the floor. Then I have an extra book that I picked up, which was Lisa Jewell, The Family Upstairs. This is, all I know is this is about a cult. That's all I know. And that's all I needed to know. And that happened. And then this was an added bonus, but it wasn't actually one of the month picks. This is Leaving the Witness by Amber Scara. Um, this is Exiting a Religion and Finding a Life, which is about a woman who leaves the Jehovah's Witness. So I'm very excited about that. That should be good. Then I placed an order from Foils and I picked up this. This is It's Okay. It's Not Okay to Feel Blue and Other Lies. Um, inspirational people open up about their mental health. Curated by Scarlett Curtis. I have been diving into this while I've been sick or, well, not sick, but hurt. And um, I've really been enjoying it. It's a bigger book than I thought it was when I ordered it. So it's been a decent one to keep me busy. Then Amanda Center sent me several books for my birthday. One was a new copy of Alice in Wonderland. This one is illustrated by Andre Dequino. Um, this one is 
very different and it has words on the side so that's fantastic and then she also sent me this this is Mad Hatters and March Hairs edited by Ellen Doutlow um, this is a short story collection um, uh, that are based around at uh, Alice in Wonderland. Some of the people in it are Catherine Valente and Sean McGuire. I don't know a lot of the other ones, but I look forward to picking this up and reading it. Then I picked this up. This one I found used. It was an autographed copy. I'd always wanted this book, but I hadn't found it in a good condition. And then I found it autographed for like seven bucks and I was not going to leave it alone. This is Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil by John Bar Barrent. Um, this is a nonfiction about a murder in Savannah. Yeah. So I'm very excited about that. This was sent to me for review. This is Looking Glass, The Chronicles of Atlas Novellas by Christina Henry. This was sent to me by Ace Publishing. I've read all the other Alice books and I am super excited to dive into this um, and read that. I'm going quickly because I have a lot. Then I picked this up. I'd wanted it for a while and somebody requested that I read more crime and more mystery so I figured this was good. The Girl on the Velvet Swing, Sex, Murder, and Madness and the Dawn of the 20th Century by Simon Battis. Um, this is about Evelyn Nesbitt who ends up being sexually assaulted and then years later tells her husband about it and he ends up murdering the man who sexually assaulted her and it is that case and what it did to the american justice system this one is one i wanted when it came out i requested it and it wasn't something that i was able to get from the publisher but i was happy enough to find it as a as a clearance book this is topeka school a novel by ben lerner um this one rouse my interest because it talks about um a young boy named adam and his mother is a famous feminist and his father is an expert in quote unquote lost boys they both work in the psychiatric clinic attached to the staff and patients around the world um so he ends up making friends with one of their patients and doesn't know that the boy is a patient um, and it's just that story. So that should be good. I'm very excited about that. And then this one I found, it's it's pretty used. It's not too bad. But I read this when I was younger and I sold it or not sold it. The edition I have, the pages are falling out because I read it so many times. So I wanted my own copy, but I wanted it in an edition, the same edition that I read. So this is Sarah Dressed in Dreamland. This is the story of... Um, Caitlin um who falls in love with a boy and he is just everything she wants but then something starts to go wrong and he starts to treat her badly and this is that story then I picked this up again on clearance this is 10 minutes 38 seconds in a strange world by Elif Sharak Sharif this was shortlisted for the man booker prize and uh, it is the story of a woman who has been shot, I believe, and she's been murdered and she's been left by a dumpster. And this is the 10 minutes and 38 seconds that she lays there dying um, and her thinking back on her life. Then we have this. This is a graphic novel by Mc Mariko Tamaki. Um, this is Harley Quinn Breaking Glass graphic novel art by Steve Pook. Um, this is a pre Harleen Quinzel and Harlequin thing where Harley starts to get into trouble as a teenager and it's her experience kind of going awry and getting into some mischief. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then we have this graphic novel, Femme Mac 
Magnifique, 50 Magnificent Women Who Changed the World. This one has a sticker on it. There we go. So this is a graphic novel that talks about 50 women. And it looks like it's actually a story, but then it has quotes from great women, women stuck throughout it. Um, or maybe it's a short story about each of these women. It's got a lot of women in that I really like, so I'm very excited about this. Then I picked this one up just for fun. This is Hallow Kingdom by Kira Jane Buck. Then I was looking for something lighter to read, so I picked this up. This is about a domesticated crow who ends up watching his master fall into disarray and I believe turn into a zombie. So that was fun to read. Then I picked up this. This is a nonfiction that I was hoping to read this month. I wasn't sure if I was going to get to it, but we'll see. Fasting Girls History of Anorexia Nervosa by Joanne Jacobs Brum Brumber Brumberg. So that is the history of anorexia. Then we have Amanda Yates Garcia, Memoir of a Witch Initiated. So this is the story of a woman who is initiated into a Wiccan society and then her life throughout after she's been initiated. My boyfriend was very sweet and he picked me up a copy for my birthday of Jane Eyre. This is just beautiful. I always collect Jane Eyre, so that's very exciting. Then these arrived today. These are from Dezank Books. This is Don't You Know I Love You by Laura Bogart. This is a story of a young girl who her father is violent and she ends up getting into a car accident and the father becomes obsessed about getting money for the settlement of the um accident and her mother is desperate to get a second chance with her and she begins to recover from both the accident and the relationship she has with her parents. This is The Snow Collectors by Tina May Hall. Um, let's see. Haunted by the loss of her parents and twin sister at sea, Hannah cloisters herself into a northeastern village where snow never stops. When she discovers the body of a young woman at the edge of the forest, she's plunged into a mystery of century-old letter regarding the most famous stories of the Arctic exploration, the Franklin Expedition, which disappeared into the ice in 1845. So that should be interesting. I'm very excited about that. Then I picked this up. This was on a whim. It was in paperback. I was really in the mood for something after I read The Five. So I read Stocking Jack the Ripper by Kira Maniscola and I loved it. And I pre-ordered, not pre-ordered, and I ordered all four of the other books that follow up this one. There's a new one out that's about H.H. H. Holmes. There's one about Dracula and there's one about Houdini. So I'm very excited about this. I really enjoyed it and I'll talk more about it in a review. Then I picked up She Said by Jody Cantor and Megan Towie, the winners of the Pulitzer Prize, the breaking of sexual harassment story that helped ignite a movement. I've seen this everywhere and I'm very excited to have it. This one I requested but was not sent it, so I ended up seeing it in the bookstore and picked it up um, because I was so interested in it. This is Carol. This is by Sarah Ella. This is, there's no more, there is more than one way to drown. And it's about a mermaid that has been griefed with what is called human emotion and a young girl on land who has anxiety and depression and their experience together. I'm very excited about that. That is a YA, so we'll see when I get to it, but it should be a quick read. And then this one I read very fast. I saw this as a net galley option. This is The Eighth Girl by Maxine Mifong Chun. Um, and I saw this on NetGalley and I requested it, but I was so desperate to get my hands on it, and I'll tell you why in a second, that I tweeted the author and the author messaged me her publisher's email because I had a reason that I wanted to read it so badly, and the publisher immediately agreed to send it to me, and they sent it to me, and I got it within two days, and within a day and a half I had read it. So, this... One woman, multiple personas, 
um, but which one is telling the truth. This is about DID. So this is written from a woman who actually has experience as a psychoanalyst and psychotherapist. So the exploration of DID is actually pretty accurate. I really enjoyed it. I have thoughts about it. I will do a personal in-depth review on it. Um, I will also talk about it in my wrap up. This comes out 320 so March 20th 2019 or either March 19th or or maybe it's just March 2020 yeah that's all it is March 2020 it doesn't give an exact date but I will keep you guys up in the loop this was really worth it and I'm very excited about it so that is all the books that I have hauled in November I will be doing a wrap up soon. Um, bear with me. I will probably actually do a wrap up in December during Vlogmas because I need videos in Vlogmas because I plan to do seven videos a week. So that's that. This is that video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a comment in the description and let me know what you're thinking. If you got to the end of this video, leave a comment of coffee and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.